Good morning, uh, February 14th, 2019. And um, I have a little inspiration to share today. Uh, don't know if it's appropriate or if it's significant or if it is even relevant to February 14th. But this has nothing to do with Walmart's bottom line and selling chocolate and gift cards. Yes, that's why I think Valentine's Day was created in the first place, was so that retail outlets could have another avenue of marketing and sales. Yes. Anyway, so I got something else I want to share today because this has been something that's been kind of gnawing on me in the last couple weeks. So uh, it comes from this book here, right there. Yeah. Um, been digging into quite a bit of some of the wisdom that's come out of this book. And um, when I read the book the first time, I mean, I've read it a few times, I highlighted a few things, and then I have it downloaded on my electronic devices, so then I've been highlighting stuff in there. So I picked up the book again, the one, the original one. This is the one you gave me, Cherie. Yes, I believe that's the one you guess. It's got the one the highlights, so this is the one I came from you. Um, and, um, this was highlighted, the, the tail end of this, but I want to read the whole paragraph, um, cause this is very significant and, um, I don't think when people come to this day, they realize how much tragedy has to do with love. Um... 14 is a significant number in my life now uh, because it was on the 14th that my nephew died. And um, so when I come to Valentine's Day, and I remember Valentine's Day two years ago because it was one month after the accident. And my mom and I got together with Tori and her mom. Um, and we just, we just were together, right? We didn't talk much about what was gnawing at our hearts and stuff, but we just spent the day together. Um, and I, I felt so honored that she wanted to spend the day with us knowing what February 14th is supposed to be significant in in the life of a of a couple and and what she had gone through and um so to me when i thought of today i was like you know what that's the day i go back to um and i i remember that day and so i have a little bit this is huge for me this this segment that i'm going to read is huge for me because i can look at that time in my life and somehow see God's love painted all over it and people don't want to see tragedy as a painting of God's love but this really explains that and that's what I'm going to read and it's the scene where it's in the chapter of meeting of the hearts um, Mac has come back from the cave and he has a revelation that he's been God's judge and so he's kind of apologetic to Papa. And so Papa and him are sitting on the porch and having some scones and whatever and a lot of this, is, this conversation is happening. And Mac is questioning, finally realizing, hey, maybe there's a purpose to my tragedy. Right? Maybe there's a purpose. Is this what happened? Is this really why, why you did this? And he's asking these questions. And Papa comes back with a response. If only it were that simple, Mackenzie. Nobody knows what horrors I've saved the world from. Because people can't see what never happened. All evil flows from independence. And independence is your choice. If I were to simply revoke all the choices of independence, the world as you know it would cease to exist and love would have no meaning. 
This world is not a playground where I keep all my children free from evil. Evil is the chaos of this age that you bring to me, but it will not have the final say. Now it touches everyone that I love, those who follow me and those who don't. And this is the part that I highlighted. If I take away the consequences of people's choices, I destroy the possibility of love. Love that is forced is no love at all. How can I not see God's painting of love over the tragedy of my life? Because if God took away the consequences of the choices of people, love would have been destroyed. That's it. Love. I could never blame God. I could never blame any of the people. I realized it was consequences to the choices that happened that day, two years and one month ago. But God's love is the portrait here, right? This is part in the other book. He says, you know what? What choices, you know, what choices could have happened to not have this happen, Mac? You know, your choice to have another child, my choice to create, right? So many things that, you know, what do you just stop life? Just, but yet God somehow gave us choices. And that was the ultimate gift of love. Because love is not forced. Wow. Anyway, that's where I'm at today. So thank you. Um, I don't know. That's all I got to say.